Hello and welcome to this news video. And first of all, I have to say thank you for all the sub subscribers because now this channel crossed the 3000 uh, subscribers um, with only 100 videos. Sadly, there hasn't been many videos in the past year. Sorry for that. Um, I had other things to do in real life and that will probably continue. Um, I mean, I made a few extra or a few more powered up tutorial parts in the past months. But overall, I have many other things in life to do. So this is not a main priority. But if there's anything that's important, I uh, try to keep informed when it comes to Lego robotics and software and so on. Um, so that's for this channel. But there actually is a, an important news topic. And that's that um, Lego Education will release a new Lego Education Science solution or Lego Education Science products from August 2025. And for me, the interesting part are the new electronic elements. Um, this is the official page that will be available from August. And there's not much information here, at least when it comes to things uh, that or to details about the electronic, electronic parts, but there will be new electronic elements. And from now on, the uh, most of the stuff that I will talk about is from third party sources and not from Lego Education themselves. So take it with a grain of salt. But um, here comes what I could find out uh, for the new things. First of all, the robotic platforms, meaning Spike Prime and Spike Essential, will stay the same. This update is not for them. This is um, for the new, let's say, basic um, education products. And these things, I mean, you can see a motor here, will be only uh, new motors or interactive parts, but there will be no programming required. They will be chargeable via USB-C. You can see the plug here. And um, I think that will, they will be able to use Bluetooth to connect with other devices, which of course makes them expensive because first of all, they have to include a rechargeable battery. They have to include Bluetooth and that makes them pretty um, expensive. But I hope that they will still be usable uh, without their own controller or without a controller or a hub or so. And I think that it's one of the important things that you should be able to use these, these things without the uh, without a uh, hub, which then has cables and so on. So the idea of the new system is that it's completely wireless. But that's what I could get from this page. A new elementary also did a research or did their speculations, and they speculate about three kits or three uh, sets that will be released in this line with uh, pretty expensive pi prices starting at 300 US dollars with one double motor. And um, yeah, that's probably the direction that this will go in, that everything will be pretty expensive. And there will also be a controller. Connection cards, I'm not sure what they are about. Um, we will probably see that later. Maybe to pair a controller to a motor, for example. There will be a color sensor and a single motor. So these are the things uh, that will be released in this line, at least according to new, new elementary. Um, and I wonder how the color sensor will interact without programming with other things. Maybe you can, or maybe there will be some default behavior that will happen um, if it, it detects a light or so. With the, like similar to these uh, color blocks, which were used for duple trains. They also did a bit of research for the other parts. For example, there will be a new rubber part, but um, that's not so important for this video. What's important for this video are a few more pictures. I think that this one shows the new color sensor and the remote. I'm really um, looking forward to see how everything interacts because I can't imagine uh, many things at the moment at least not without programming. And of course, there will be these uh, new motors with uh, two, two motors and there will be a single motor. That was what I could find out about this new system for the moment. Um, I'm sure that there will be new details upcoming to the release date. Um, 
And I hope that there will be something for normal home users at one point. Although I am not sure because all of this is very expensive and it might be too expensive for the home uh, use. And I hope that it will be able to connect to Spike. And I also hope that it will have uh, that it will be um, supported by Pybricks at one point. The Porsche Hub, which was in one of the last Technic sets, uh, can't be supported by Pybricks because it uses some encryption and that's not uh, broken as of yet. That's very sad to see. And I hope that it's not the same for these hubs, but we will see. And I'm a bit disappointed that there will be nothing about renewable energies. But that was it for this video. Uh, please tell me your thoughts about these new hubs and sets in the comments. See you in the next video and bye.